Hello, and welcome to the Kingdom YouTube channel. My name is Ivory, and if you want to know more about me, check out my Twitter at Ivor underscore Y. In this video, we'll be going over how to design the logo from Animal Crossing New Horizons. First thing we're going to do is open a 24 by 18 inch document to create our logo on. In order to create the logo, you'll need to download a specific font. A link to the font used in this video, Think Heavy, can be found in both the description and pinned comment below. With our new font downloaded, we'll select the text tool and change the text color to FFC952 to match the yellow text from the logo and begin to type out whatever you like. Next, we will right click and rasterize our new text layer so that we can then go to our lasso tool and select our individual letters and slightly tilt them to match the logo. With our text now matching the quirkiness of the logo, double click your layer to bring up the layer style, and then click Bevel and Emboss. For structure, you want your style set to Inner Bevel, your technique set to Chisel Hard, your depth set to 32, direction set to Up, size set to 6, and soften set to 0. For shading, set your angle to 161, global light set to On, altitude set to 16, your gross contour set to Linear with your anti-alias turn off, Highlight mode set to white, normal, and an opacity of 100, with your shadow mode also set to normal and opacity of 100, but using the color C1831C. Next, click Drop Shadow, and go to Structure. Set your blend mode to normal using the color black. The opacity to 26%, change the angle to 161 while keeping the global light on. Set your distance to 14, your spread to 16, and your size to 8. For quality, set your contour to linear with anti-alias turn off and set your noise to 0%. Depending on the size and text of the font you use, you may want to tweak your settings to something a little bit different. Next, we're going to create the wood piece behind the text in the logo, starting by creating a new layer beneath the text we just edited. In order to create that border around the text that we see in the logo, we need to select our text by clicking while holding down control on PC or command on Mac, then going to select at the top and clicking modify then expand. For our image size, we're going to expand the selection by 25 pixels, then click OK. If there are gaps in your selection like ours, select the lasso tool and change the mode to add to selection, then use the tool to add the empty spaces to the select. Next, using the polygonal variant of the lasso tool, we're going to create a roof-like section of the logo. With our selection complete, click the paint bucket tool and fill the selection with black. If you notice in the logo, they have a little gear slash clock at the top, so we're going to add a circle using the circular marquee tool. If you hold down shift while doing this, you can make a perfect circle. Next, we'll select the paintbrush tool and fill in our new circle. Press Ctrl D on PC or Command D on Mac to deselect. Lastly, let's make the teeth of the gear by creating four selections using the polygonal lasso tool and then filling them in with the paintbrush using the color black. With the shape of our wood piece complete, we can make the wood pattern. There are two ways of doing this. One, you can download the image of a wood pattern from Google like so. Drag it to a layer above our black shape, and then right click and select Clipping Mask. Two, you can make your own custom wood grain using various tools found on Photoshop. To make your own wood grain, create a new layer above the newly made black shape. Change your foreground color to B17C46, and then fill in your new layer with the color mentioned using the paint bucket tool. Next, go to filler at the top, go down to noise, and select add noise. Change the amount to somewhere between 11 and 12%, set the distribution and Gaussian, and make sure monochromatic is turned on. Then, go to filter at the top again, go down to render, and then select clouds. Next, go to Edit at the top, select Fade Clouds, and change the opacity to 22%. Then, go to Filter at the top, go down to Blur, select Gaussian Blur, and set the radius to 1.5 pixels. And lastly, go to Filter at the top again, go down to Distort, and select Wave. Here you want to set your number of generators to 610, your wavelength to a minimum of 51, and a maximum of 345. 
your amplitude to a minimum of 59 and a maximum of 91. Your scale is horizontal to 22% and your vertical to 1%. Make sure to set your type to sign and undefined areas to repeat edge pixels as well. After that's all been set, click OK. If you want to add another level of realism to your custom wood grain, you can go to filter at the top select liquify. With the twirl clockwise tool selected, you can click and hold on various selections of your custom texture to create knots in your wood. Another way you can spice up your custom grains by duplicating the layer using Ctrl J on PC or Command J on Mac. Then use Ctrl Shift U on PC or Command Shift U on Mac to desaturate the layer and then change the layer mode to soft light. This helps out some of the darker colors in your wood texture. You can of course lower the opacity of the layer if it's too noticeable. Somewhere around 40% is best. After that, you can merge the two layers by clicking on both of them while holding down Shift and then right clicking to select Merge Layers. With our wood layer not complete, right click the layer and select Create Clipping Mask to make it so the wood is in the shape of the black layer we made earlier. Next, select both layers by holding down Shift and click them both, and then right click to select Merge Layers. Then double click your now merged layer to bring up the Layer Style tab and select Bevel and Emboss. Here we're going to create a similar look to what we did to the text earlier. For structure, change your style to inner bevel, your technique to chisel hard, the depth to 32, the direction to up, the size to 10 pixels, and put soft into zero. They are currently in the chambers of the high ruler. He is questioning one of the space. For shading, set the angle to 161, altitude to 16, the gloss contour to linear, the highlight mode to white normal and 100%, and the shadow mode to black normal and also 100%. Next, let's create the little gear slash clock at the top of the logo. First, select the ellipse tool, turn the stroke off and set the fill to black, and then create a perfect circle by dragging your mouse while holding down the shift key. Once the circle is in place, change the blend mode to soft light, then double click the layer to bring up the layer style tab and click bevel and emboss once again. For structure, set the style to inner bevel, the technique to chisel hard, the depth to 32, the direction to down, the size to 6 pixels, and softness to 0. Leave shading as it is. Next, create another perfect circle by holding down the shift key while dragging your mouse in place to the center of our previous circle. Set the color to E8CD9E. And create a new layer above it. In this new layer, either drag a copy of the wood texture you found or made earlier, change its blend mode to linear burn, and the opacity to 22%. To create the numbers in the clock, use the polygonal lasso tool and create small rectangles and fill them in with the color 562AOE. After that is complete, use the brush tool with the color 562A0E to create the hands of the clock. Now to create the tag at the top of the logo. Select the pen tool, set the fill color to A2CDE1, and create the tag by selecting the six corners. <laughs> to create the little hole found on the tag of the logo, select the eraser tool and click once to create a singular perfect circular hole. Next, create a new layer above the newly created tag, and then while holding down Control on PC or Command on Mac, click the new tag to create a selection matching its shape. Next, go to the top and go to Select.
go down to modify, click contract, and set contract to 10 pixels. Lastly, fill in your new selection with the color F7F4D3 using the paint bucket tool. To deselect your selection, press Ctrl D on PC or Command D on Mac. To create the waves from the logo, use the eraser tool and slowly move up and down as you go across. For the island and palm tree from the logo's tag, create a layer beneath the layer we made with the waves on it, then use the paintbrush tool to create two circles by clicking once using the color 13AB84 and create a palm tree with a smaller brush size. For the text in the logo's tag, use the font Myriad Pro with the color F7F4D3 above the waves and the color 19AACF in the waves. A link to where you can download the Myriad Pro font can be found in both the description and pinned comment below. Lastly, for the text saying Welcome To that's seen on the wood of the original logo, once again use the font Think Heavy using the color white. You can find a link to where you can download the font in both the description and pinned comment below. You can find the work file we made in this video, along with several other work files from previous videos on our Patreon. Starting at $1, you can unlock all of our work files as well as gain early access to all of our videos and scripts. If you have any further questions, leave a comment below and we'll be sure to answer it as soon as possible. The script for this video can be found on our Patreon. If you enjoyed this video and would like to not only see them continue but improve in quality, consider supporting us on the Patreon or Ko-Fi. Links are in the description below. See you next time.